Hey everybody! I'm here today to show you and tell you how to get your voice back after losing it. These will be the easiest steps, so let's get right into the video. If you lost your voice, this is the video for you. First and foremost, don't do this. Don't talk. Don't talk this loudly, especially. Now, I am a pro at getting my voice back. I'll tell you why. I sometimes film up to 40, 50, 60 videos in a single day. Plus, I'm a full-time elementary school teacher at the time of me filming this, so I talk a lot. And on occasion, I lose my voice, but I get it back really quickly because I follow all of these steps. So there are essentially seven things that I want to tell you about. I'm going to try and blast through them, so let's get through this rather quickly. I'm not going to dwell on each of them. Number one, try not to talk, obviously. Try as hard as you can not to talk. Recovery is about not talking when it comes to getting your voice back. So do not say a word unless you absolutely have to. Number two, use a humidifier or take a warm shower so that you can breathe in humid air. You wanna get humidity in the air because that will help your throat heal and your vocal cords heal. So turn the humidifier on in your bedroom when you go to bed or just take a nice warm shower to get that steam going in the shower. And if you have a humidity uh, option on your furnace, then turn it up slightly. You don't want to put too much humidity in the house, but you can add a little bit of humidity in the house. Just don't forget to turn it down, back down, once you um, have got your voice back. So add some humidity to breathe in. Just a little bit, not a lot. You just need a bit of humidity um, just to help help your uh, vocal cords and your throat and everything to do with your voice heal. Number three, drink a lot of water. You need to drink a lot of water, okay? Water will lubricate and soothe your throat, which will therefore help your throat and your vocal cords heal. Drink a lot of water. Number four, drink water frequently. In addition to drinking a lot of water, you want to take sips of water frequently, okay? That's because when you take these sips of water constantly, it keeps your throat moist, therefore helping the healing process. So drink water frequently as well. Number five, don't even whisper if you can avoid it. A lot of people think that they can whisper and it's not going to work their vocal cords. Guess what? But it does. If you lost your voice and you whisper, you will prolong the healing process. Obviously, whispering is better than talking loudly, but not saying anything at all is better than either of those options. So don't think that whispering it, 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 it will save you. Uh, whispering will still prolong the healing process. So basically, if you have to say something, then whisper, okay? But try to not even whisper if possible, okay? Number six, get some extra sleep. Whenever you're trying to heal anything, extra sleep helps. So get some extra sleep because it will help your body heal. Um, at the end of the day, when you get extra sleep, your organs, your muscles, your tissues, your tendons, your joints, everything about your body heals better and heals faster. So get an extra hour of sleep a night. Try and get that extra hour and hopefully your voice will heal. Plus, when you're sleeping, you're not talking. So it's guaranteed that you're not going to be hurting your ability to heal when you're sleeping and it will help your ability. But you won't hurt it because you can't talk, right? So it's extra healing. Very simple. Last but not least is number seven, which is to sleep slightly elevated. Now this isn't necessary for everyone, um, but if you have like acid reflux, you want to sleep slightly elevated because it will prevent reflux. When you get reflux and that burning feeling in your throat, that's going to hurt your ability to get your voice back. So avoid it. And also avoid foods and drinks that give you reflux because that's, you know, it's really, really going to hurt your ability to heal and get your voice back. And by sleeping slightly elevated, I don't mean sleep like massively elevated. I mean like literally add a thin pillow underneath your regular pillow. Don't even do like a double pillow, but just add like a thin pillow underneath your regular pillow just to sleep slightly elevated or even just put like uh, like you know a tiny book um, a relatively thin book underneath the upper feet of your bed so elevate the upper portion of your bed frame just a little bit and that will elevate the bed now obviously your partner if you're sleeping beside someone they're gonna be elevated too so make sure they don't mind obviously you don't want them to go to bed and they're surprised they're like well I feel like I'm upright and they're like oh by the way I put some bed I put some books under the uh, bed post by the way honey um, you don't want that so yeah anyways but that's a whole other separate side note that is how to get your voice back after losing it quickly, an easy tutorial with the easiest steps, do it because trust me, um, I lose my voice on occasion, not often, it's been trained 
to, to I, I know when I'm hitting my max and I tone it down, right? Um, but essentially, these things will also help you prevent yourself from losing your voice. I do these things all the time, except for the sleep. I have four young kids, so I don't get any extra sleep. That's not in my books, not in my schedule, but all of the other things I do. And that essentially helps me prevent myself from even losing my voice to begin with. But that's it. That is how to get your voice back quickly after losing it, the easiest steps. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.